Excellent. Now we can kind of traverse basically anywhere across the map at this point, yeah? We can swim, we can hookshot, we can run jump. So it's, it's a pretty good life. It's a pretty good time to be Link in The Legend of Zelda Link's of the Awakening in Kakujo's safe, current save file. It's a good time. Can I just hook across? Well, I can't. What, what do you mean I can't use my hookshot while I'm jumping? What? What is this? What is this bargain bin game? I can't, I can't, I seriously can't. Yep, you can take his mask. Give me the mask. Oh, they look so sad. So cute, though. They're not cabbie bears. <gasps> Stun. Nice. They're not cabbie bears. They're like cappy dragons. Can we call them that? Uh, is that what they're called, actually? Hmm. What I'm allowed to say, short Meowth says about you. Oh. You're quirky. Is that what Meowth is? I do feel like Meowth is, is kind of cool, but also he mostly takes money and scratches people's face. Which is not really anything that I'm into, to be honest. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Dikarigan says, oh, it's going for nearly $30. If it was 15 I was just going to flat out buy an eShop card to chuck at someone. <laughs> no, it's okay. It really does, like, partially come down to a matter of time as well. Like, uh, last night was the first time I actually sat down and indulged myself in something that wasn't for work in a while. I sat down and I watched a few episodes of High Score Girl. And it, it's a really cute anime. Like, normally I don't really get into anything where the, the people, the, like, the protagonists are, like in school so I don't know like I know a lot of adults that still watch high school anime and stuff I, don't, I just gotta feel like I'm it could happen to me even though I know that's stupid like I just kind of gotta feel like I could it, like I gotta put myself in there in some way you know but it's just a really cute anime of course then it gets really sad and I'm actually mad at them for putting in a stupid uh, like love triangle unrequited bull crap if you've ever seen that show and you don't think that Hidaka d deserves the world, then I, you leave now. But don't really leave. I just just know that I'm I disagree with you, and I guess that's okay. Jesus. Okay, uh, I just gotta go north, and then I gotta get these guys synced up. Oh my god. Oh, Jumpy, use some channel points. Nice, you got them figured out. Jumpy says I'm so silly. I just figure out how to use my points. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you got the you figured out how to use them. Hopefully you uh, hopefully you're able to get some enjoyment out of them. Okay, so I could hook right or I could hook left. I think this area is kind of more or less a, a dead end, so I'm just going to hook left first. Then I'm going to go pick up what appears to be is probably going to be a key or a master key. Hey, just because I take your mask doesn't mean you got to go fast. Being able to grab rupees from afar, that's... Oh, that's a good thing. That's a good feeling, you know. Okay. It's just a... It's a regular key. That's cool. I don't know, it could, there could be something good behind that door. Maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to hype Link up for the small key. He doesn't seem too excited. Where now? Oh, I see. Ah, that's easy enough. We'll just go right. What is in that pot? No, I wanted to... I wanted to blow it up. Oh, wow. Okay, so, Fairy, if you could come over here, I would very much like... Yes! I got two now. That means I'm never going to die, probably. Oh, I could have just made that so much simpler. <laughs> by just... Ah! By just waiting... Ah! By just where? By just waiting for the thing to open. Okay. Ah, what are these Goma type creatures? Explain yourself. Explain it. Oh yeah, that's totally Goma type creature. Gross. Gross. Get doinked. Ah! Why you go so fast? <laughs> I think when you're to the left, to the side of them, that's when they're all like, Gotta go fast! Yeah, see? They detected me. Walking sideways isn't an attack, it's just a mode of transportation. Okay, we poofed one of them. That's... we're good. Wait, what are you... 
I'm sorry, did you randomly in the middle of battle just have to like make a, a BM? Oh, okay, you were trying to charge me! Okay! I thought, I mean, this game, this dungeon so far is implementing all kinds of new unforeseen thing, like unseen things in, in boss fights, mid-boss fights specifically. First we had the skeleton guy that would run away, and then I was like, why not have a spider crab that stops to, to poop? I don't know. Okay, I've got all my fairies, you can just hang out with me. And then go back to wherever fairies go when they're done with their job. I would hate it if I were born and they were like, Child, your one purpose in life is to find a small boy and make sure he don't die. Then what? Then you die. Oh! <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> it's not, there's really nothing after that point. No point? No extra points, really? <sighs> feels wrong to kill them with a sword. This feels really wrong. Where are we headed, exactly? Thanks to the hookshot, we can get around here now, though. Oh. What? I guess I kind of need to be over... I don't know if I need to be over here yet. I think I was supposed to go over here and grab some of this biz first, because I don't have a key. This rock has a keyhole? It does. Excellent. Excellent of you to notice that. Yeah, we gotta go back. Lily got super frustrated with having how much you have to go back and forth and, like, really... I don't know, things aren't quite as spelled out for you in this game as it is in other Zeldas. I personally find that very enjoyable, but that also could easily just be because I kind of vaguely have an approximate knowledge of where to go, which, as I've said before, can also lead me to ruin as well as, as successes. But still, for poor Lily, she was like, I have no idea what to do, Dad. And I'm like, that's totally fine, I know exactly where to go, turn here, go here, go there. And so she's been able to have like a pretty good time of it. But I- oh, crap. Like, we raided Kawaii Kate yesterday at the end of the stream, and she was talking- she said she beat the Zelda a couple days ago. And she was saying she got, like, super mad, super frustrated at the game. And I seriously- I brought up the part where you have to figure out where to find Marin for the Animal Village, and she, like, long pause, took a deep breath, she was like, oh, yes. Like, I can see how you would be, uh, frustrated at that. Like, you, she- it's- it's a weird- it's a weird spot in an otherwise, honestly, not that obtuse game. It's a very obtuse moment, I would- I would say. Keenwell says that I would never search for the boy. <laughs> uh, I- I like that. I- I wanna watch, like, a Studio Ghibli. No, probably wouldn't be Studio Ghibli, probably be their, like, uh, ex-animators group, Studio Panic. I wanna see it. Like, Fairy Quinoa in the quest to never find the boy. And it's just a slice of life TV series, actually, surprise where the, this fairy's just doing everything they can to avoid the boy. And for some reason, though, no matter where they go, the, the boy's, like, hot on their heels, just coincidentally. Like, oh, did you hear the boy's in the dungeon? You're like, oh my god. And you have to leave and get out of the dungeon as fast as you can. And uh, the whole entire time, the fairy commission is like, why aren't you seeking the boy? Uh, why aren't you trying to fulfill your highest purpose, fairy quinoa? Fairy quinoa is also a good fairy name. Especially if you if you spell it like like quinoa, or I guess for for like obfuscation you could spell it like quinoa racing's Twitch handle. I I think we just workshopped a show right here, okay? I think it could be really good actually. Like think about it. People we're, we're in a time now where people seem so are so stressed out and so feeling so overworked and stuff, and it, a lot of us our reaction to it is to just to kind of kind of slack off, you know? And it, whereas we used to call it like you know taking a break. Or having a day off, we call, we just go f it. I'm doing nothing today, and I think I think Fairy Quinoa's plight could really could really resonate with a lot of people. You know, let's do it. It's that's what's happening. I don't I don't know a guy. <laughs> Maybe you know a guy. You know, then we could figure some out. But uh, until then, I guess it's just going to be a thought, huh? Well, none of that was a key. Oh, but this will be a key. Hmm. Okay, so now we can go all the way back to the other side of the dungeon. <laughs> uh, I, like, a lot of other Zelda dungeons, people will complain that they're too linear. Meanwhile, I'm over here being like, now I gotta go all the way to the other side of the dungeon. And I am. I'm actually, like, unironically being that way. I'm actually upset about it. It's, it's quite annoying. Keenwell says, I just can draw concept art, but that is a good idea myself as a fairy. <laughs> I know. Well, any idea is easy to fall in love with when it's, like, just us. You know? Like, try to sell me some show that I'm not interested in, but then be like, but also, the main character is based off you, I'd be like, oh, that's the one, that's it. Oh, I, you know, I don't think we talked to this owl, I don't think we heard what they wanted to say. 
Are they going to admit that these bad guys are from Kirby Golf? Dive under where torchlight beams do cross. Torchlight beams do cross? Dive under? Wasn't there only one area in this dungeon that one could dive in the first place? Wasn't it just here? I already dived. And I guess there was something cool, I guess. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, this is perfect. I, I came around the wrong way, but I got where I needed to go. What do you mean it's locked? I don't have the master key. What are you talking about? Wait, then how did I get over here? Hold on a second. Hold... Hold on a second! Do I gotta go in those stairs? Maybe I gotta go in those stairs. I bet you I gotta go in those stairs, huh? Just jump. Okay, uh, I don't think this is gonna push me out anywhere I particularly need to be, but... Oh, these stairs. I have to make a better mental note of which stairs go where. You know what we could do is we could open the map, and then we go into a stair. Like, even when we, we, if we find a stair, we open the map, we pin it. We say, you know, circles and triangles and squares go to get whatever. Like, they can match. It's like, and then we pop out of the other one. We're like, oh, this one goes right here. We'll use another elementary shape. And then that way we can kind of have an idea. I don't know. Well, actually, come to think of it, will they let you... Oh, you can use... I, I assumed you could only use a marker once. Yeah, you could just do this. Like, code which things go where. I could see them, like, forcing that as a gimmick in, uh, like, a DS version or whatever. I'm so smart. What makes that open? What makes that open? Hold on. How do I, how do I stop you from being alive? Because I have a feeling I'm supposed to moidle you. Here, play with the bomb. No, no, no! I'm not the bomb. Oh my god! It's time to explode. Maybe not. Uh, the door is oddly enough. Just not wanting to open. Oh, okay, because it was like a one-way door. All right, let's go ahead and let's mark this these stairs. We're gonna do this systematically. We're gonna mark these with the triangle, or as they call, or as they call it in Hyrule, very annoyingly, the the Triforce. I don't think they're allowed to say the word triangle in Hyrule. Could you imagine, like children, square, triangle? Which I guess that's three syllables. Circle, like pretty simple. Maybe not simple words, but I guess I just come to associate them with that because of simple concepts, but... Like, square, circle, triforce. Actually, that's just two syllables. Never mind. Maybe that's fine. Wait, how do I get unstuck here? I guess that's just what that connects to, though. So th those two connect there, and then that leaves these... Ah, oh, yes, right, right, we went down these stairs, and they came out over here, yeah? So, we, I want to say we've seen this before, so there should be another stairwell that would connect the two, right? So, where is it? Oh, yeah! Uh, the divey place! Ah, we must go to the divey place. That's right, when you dive, there was actually a, a place underneath there. That's how we get the... See? Took a second, but with deductive pin map pinning, we did it. A hoot. A hoot. <laughs> Bye! So this way for sure. You guys really gotta stop leaving behind things that make me stronger. It's, it's gonna make you very unpopular. Like, no one's gonna wanna attend your funeral, because they're gonna be like, Oh yeah, remember that? Remember blooper number three? By the way, why do we just number ourselves? Remember blooper number three? Remember that guy? He just, he just made Link stronger? Like, what the heck is up with that? You got the Nightmare Key, now you can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair. You don't say. Alright, here we go. Let's fight a giant capybara. A masquerade. Uh, 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 Phantom of the Opera one. So, you are the outsider. Come to wake the windfish. <laughs> I should eat you. That's very little exposition. I feel like he's not, he's not trying to win me over. Slime eel. Okay. I mean, maybe if you give me your backstory or something, or, like, explain how I'm ruining your people or something, I, I could... I don't know, the whole eat, just eat part... Wait, do I not get to use my awesome hookshot for this? Because if you won, I can make it to where we... Ay, ay, ay. What exactly hits this thing or stops this thing? Okay, hold on. Maybe, maybe that... Oh, come on! Maybe I should have talked to more owls. That's going to be one of the things they say if I, like, end up bleeding out on the side of the road. So I feel like talking to more owls could always lead you to more wisdom. Or at least that's what Zelda wants us to think. 
What? Oh, that randomly worked this time? I guess he got to do it directly down his face, though, is the thing, huh? Good! So I get I get to actually use my hook shot. <laughs> his eyes with his sideways mouth is really weird looking. Oh, his eyes are weird! Oh, his eyes look weird now! That's really gross. You see that? He came out and his eye color were, were, they were reversed. Grody! Oh, I choked. Oh, I choked! I wish I had other item buttons I could use. Look at that. That's, a, that's, a, that's the creepiest one. Every time I see that, it makes me choke. It pan it's very scary. Very scary. Oh, I didn't pull him out very far. Oh, that's my bad. It, can I pull you out further next time, please? Oh, there we go. There we go. Death approaches for you, buddy. What a fool! Eh. I missed the first box. Was he saying, like, dude, don't wake the wind fish? You're gonna lose your, your waifu? So I've been telling the boy that the whole time, and you don't give a crap. Mm-mm. Yeah, the weird-eyed ones don't have a body, really? They're just there to be, like, s severed, undead heads? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, is that a xylophone? It looks like it's being held up by toilet paper rolls! Oh, marimba, right. That's the, the bigger one, right? Wow. That just sounded very much like like a disco trance intro. And I'm here for it. Mm. Shrine! The island secret in the shrine! Is this where I learned that I'm not real? Well, uh, so the mermaid's special necklace was not in there. I'm gonna have to go search for that some more. Or I guess it's like Nikari Kud said, it might just be with the fisherman guy. So if I could ever find out who the heck wants a stick, I mean, I think we'd be in business. Who do you think wants a stick? Maybe Bow Wow? Bow Wow's like sticks. I don't think I've met a dog in this game. I don't think so anyway. Okay. Oh no! Oh no, you got hooked! Oh, there's no hope for anyone now. <laughs> oh, oh, Link. Link, that's filthy. You didn't even give those, give those guys a chance. Even you guys can't stand up to this, can you? <laughs> Makes no sense, because I'm shooting them with metal connected to a metal chain, but... I'm fine with being unstoppable. Alright. Yeah, the, uh, the chain chomp is the closest thing to a dog in this game. I agree with Quinoa. Let's go back to the village and let's go talk around. Let's go see if there's anyone out there that wants themselves a nice good stick. A good solid stiff stick. Also, we have what? Just one more dungeon to do? Is that really the case? Oh man, that's crazy. Because let's see, we've done... Well, we haven't gone over this way yet. Ah, and then there's this up here. Which I have not been to either. I can't get to it because... Probably hookshot related reasons, but whatever. I'm here on business. Hello, Mabe Village. AKA also my favorite song. What's selling in the item shop today? Hopefully not something overpriced and awful. Oh, what did I do? What were the two adjectives I said not to be? Shop. Ugh. Sorry! Whew! Get dodged. Ooh, what's in the claw game today? Probably won't do a claw game thing, but... Handle is rubbish. Well, can't argue with that convoluted. If you add an oscillating cover inside the resonance tube, then it's a vibraphone. Oh yeah, yeah. The weird ways that you can just tweak the the the, the humble the humble xylophone. Do you want a stick? Cause I got stick. Maybe you want stick? No, you got a bow. I guess that's all you want today. Eh? Have I met a dog in this game? I mean, other than Bow Wow, the closest thing to a dog. Ma'am. 
Yeah, he's <laughs> proud of his fine fur coat. What about what he also could be proud of his fine stick if he played his cards right? I already know you guys don't want to stick. I feel like you guys would have said something. I need some vittles for that poor Papal guy, too. Maybe Fishman wants a stick. Fishman? Wait, why is the pond shining? Oh, is there a new thing in there? <gasps> I don't think I've noticed that shiny thing in the pond before. Uh, I'm gonna go scope, see if there's something new in there. Or maybe I can think for poor Papal and I can bring him, I don't know, a fish to eat or something. <gasps> Wait, has that straight up Cheep Cheep been in there before? Shifter says, I think you walk by the person who needs a stick on your way in. No kidding. Oh crap, crap, no, 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 get off, no. You're, s no, I forgot how to fish, no. No, get, get off of my, no, just quit it. That's fine, whatever. I basically used you to bring that cheap cheap closer to me, so whatever. I got my money back and then some. Okay, here we go. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. We gotta send you back to your video game. Come on. Come on. Yes. Whoa. What? How did it? What? How did it just pop out? He's gone. No. Wait. I don't want to keep going. Wait. I. Oh. I guess I gotta. I guess I. I already paid for this round, so I gotta get something, or else I'm just gonna lose ten rupees, huh? What the heck? Ooh. Womp. Womp here. Doesn't this look delicious? I don't understand why the Cheap Cheap just gets to do other things. It's, this is what happens when we let things from other worlds into our realm. They do things that we're not used to or expecting, and it's just not fair. Stupid fish jumping up in the air and making me lose it. I mean, what? Oh crap! Ah, man, my button mashing. Could you? Well, after a while, the fish will come siphon. Yeah, filtering back in. So I caught that one first. That that one right here that just came back is the one I caught first, and then hopefully the cheap cheap would come back. Yeah. It's tiny. Why it's so tiny? Can I? What? I mean, I guess if it's tiny, that's good. I don't know. Maybe I'll unlock something good. Oh. Kima says you have to leave the lure in peace, I guess, when they're pushing it down. That's what I figured. They don't I don't think they ever outright tell you that in this game, but that's how it is in pretty much every other fishing minigame. They're like, if the fish is pulling, just let it go. And I kind of did when it jumped. Or when it jumped, I actually started mashing on the A button, which maybe I'm not supposed to do. Because in other fishing games, they're like, when the fish breaches the water real and fast, because they're in the water, they can't make any resistance. But maybe that's not true. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, if we'll catch this cheap cheap, then I shall unlock its powers. It's a good source of protein and mercury. Come on. Look at it. It delicious. It delicious. No, wait, no, it delicious. It delicious. What's wrong with you? It delicious. What is your problem? Hey. Boy, it delicious. Okay, 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 okay. Like oh, okay, real, 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 like oh, real, 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 like oh. And this guy's feisty. Hey, stop cheating! No, you're cheating. You're making my battery die with. Oh, oh, careful! He did it again. I let go. I mean, I pressed the A button once, but you're not supposed to touch it at all when they jump, I guess. Huh? Very Delusion says, when the fish breaches, you risk unhooking it by applying tension. So at that point, you let it take as much line as it wants. Okay. That's not what World Star Fishing Tour, whatever the game was called, taught me, but... Okay. If that's the way it is, then we'll try it that way. I know how to play. I know how to play, dang it. Or at least, I guess I didn't really know how to play all as much as I thought I did, but... You know. Shifter says, xylophone small, made of wood, played with hard mallets, marimba large, made of wood, played with yarn mallets, vibraphone small, made of metal, has fans in the pipes to create a vibe sound, played with yarn mallets. Cool. <gasps> Blooper! This fishing game just got a whole lot more interesting. Doesn't this look delish? Okay, this time for sure, no touching when they go to breach. 
Also, I really hope that blooper's not planning on trying to interrupt what I'm doing here. Whew! That happens very quickly. You have so little time to react by not pressing a button at that part. Come on. Get up here this instant. You're teasing me now. You're, you're just teasing me now. No! I didn't stop pressing A fast enough. It's this suddenly like low-key turned into the most difficult fishing minigame I've ever played. I've played so many fishing minigames. Hey, blooper, come on. It's delicious. Blooper? Blooper? Oh yeah, you know you want this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I've got it by the whatever. I don't know. Is it pulling at that point? I don't know what it's... I don't know how to catch squid, I just realized. Especially one that goes this weird Very tough fish. Very tough fish. Okay, come on, come on. Stupid cheap jeep. That cheap jeep mocks me with his multiple jumps. I got it right at the at the water's edge. It was so annoying. Not like this blooper. Oh god. Ooh, 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 ooh. This fishing minigame alone is going to make my controller die. It is constantly 3D vibrating right now. Okay! We got a squid. Oh, hey, Draconic user. Hello. Welcome back. Convolu says, I think the best fishing minigame I ever played was the Okami game. Okami had a fishing minigame? I didn't get far enough in there to find the fishing minigame, apparently. That sounds really fun, if you guys are praising it that much. It should not have hooked itself like that. Well, really? You caught a blooper! Usually it's the other way around. A blooper catches you? What do I win for this? Let me fish around in my wallet for a nice reward. How's 45 rupees sound? A blooper, huh? Good one. I'll hook you up with a new lure for that. Oh, the one that maybe can help me catch the cheap cheap? Just what you need to catch the deepest dwelling fish. Is that how that works? I mean... It seems like I'm able to catch any fish, really. Man, this thing, oh, this thing sinks hard. That actually might not be very good to catch a cheap cheap. Come and get it. Oh, look, it's a small legless scorpion. It's the perfect time to have a snack when your prey doesn't have legs, you know? Come on. You'd be stupid not to, not to bite this one. There you go. At least it's just a regular gosh dang fish instead of a cheap cheap that likes to breach. Who breaches? Come on. Oh my god, this guy. I guess I just gotta like kinda like tap on the, the reel as he's going away to like kinda mitigate the return. I mean it risks me breaking the the line, but come on, it's better than just sitting here doing nothing. Oh Finally! I got the big chunker. Quinoa uses the channel points to say, and Joe, I heard you like fishing games. There is on the Nintendo 3DS Legend of the River King. It's a bit weird from time to time, but you have the fish, the River King, to heal your sister. Sto long story short, it's an old Game Boy Color game. Don't await too much fancy graphics, but I had fun. That's cool. Yeah, when I got Fishing Star World Tour on the Switch, it made me realize I love fishing games. But I actually do prefer it when they're, like, just a side thing in an otherwise unrelated game. So I don't know, because fishing's awesome, but I can only do it for, like, a few hours before I start getting kind of bored, you know? Yeah, as long as the dumb cheap cheap comes back. Where is it? Bring the cheap cheap. Where is it? I know it's going to come out any second. I saw that. I saw him. I saw that turd a little bit ago. Or not. Maybe I'll just come back. Nah. Can I have my money back? That's fine. I, I don't need that 10 rupees, I guess. Sorry, you guys. I really want to catch this cheap cheap. They keep. They are toying with me. Twilight Princess has a fun fishing minigame. Why don't I remember that? And in said fishing minigame location, they also have Marble Run minigames. I remember that! Oh! I do remember the fishing in, in uh, Twilight Princess, actually. You're on a boat with the cutie, aren't you? Two cheap cheeps. Yes! My chances are doubled. Oh god, this thing really sinks. Hello! You want a scorpion? Crap, I have to change lures. That's no good. Hey, looky here. Looky. Looky, come on. Come on, it's delicious. It's delicious. Hey! Oh, there we go. Don't you breach. Oh, God, I hate it when they breach. Oh, I thought they were looking up because they were about to breach. Ha ha! Okay, that was a lot easier. Ooh, they got a bit of a sun-kissed belly. You caught a cheap cheap. Since when do they swim in these waters? 
Wow, a 25.26 inch fish. That's a lunker. Quite a catch. That one will earn you 35 rupees. Is there something caught in the cheap cheap's mouth? A shoal. Interesting. John Bay says the great things about game fishing is you don't have to handle bait or the fish itself, but get the satisfaction of catching a fish. What well, I completely agree, John Bay. That's absolutely the whole thing, isn't it? Um, I don't want to assume that the other cheap cheap doesn't have anything inside it. I'm gonna go for this other cheap cheap before we go. Come on, it's delicious. Mm hmm. I know now. I know. I know now exactly what physical motion they make whenever they they go to breach now. Just had to play it long enough to recognize those those motions. You're mine! So much easier once you recognize that pattern. You caught a cheap cheap again. 40 rupees, holy crap. Okay, so yeah, they don't give you anything beyond that point. And that's it. There's no more shinies in the water, so it's all good now. Alright, who wanted stick anyway? Shifter was saying I might have run by them when I entered the village. 